Hello everyone and welcome to Star Trek Online with the dramatic music in the background. As you can see from the characters created here, I'm not new to the game, though I'm not nearly as experienced as other people and I have a lot to learn about the game still, but um, these are characters I played uh, I'd say more than a year ago. I haven't been back to the game for a while. Uh, I usually have one slot for a massively multiplayer online game and I guess originally that slot was occupied by EVE Online then I played uh, Star Trek Online, and then now I'm more playing World of Warships, but I wanted to return to w return to Star Trek Online because they've added a new feature in honor of the 50th anniversary of Star Trek, and I want to show that off in this video. And try it out for the first time, actually. I have no idea how it's going to work out. Um, you might notice that my top uh, character is Buck Kerman, and uh, yes, I have created a Kerbal character in... Star Trek Online. This is as close as I could get. I imagine somebody with a little bit more talent could get closer, but the tools for character creation, while formidable, as you can see, we got a close facsimile, but uh, not perfect. We couldn't get the body to head proportion right. Uh, there is no way to make that big a head. So this is, uh, I think, um, an evolved Kerbal uh, named, well, well, no spoilers about uh, how he becomes named Buck Kerman for now. Okay, but uh, that's the idea there. But now we're going to create a new character. And we're going to go with this 23rd century Starfleet option. My previous characters, I had two Starfleet and one Romulan. I have not created a Klingon character before. So I'm glad to have the extra slot to maybe do that next. Taking a look, I have two female characters and one male. So this time I'm going to create a male character. And character creation is quite quite robust. Uh, I, I've got one science character, um, uh, Buck Kerman is an engineering character. I think I've got two science character, one engineering, unless I made my Romulan tactical. Was my Romulan tactical? Hold on. Uh, no, uh, my Romulan is science. Okay, so I'm gonna make a tactical character this time, just to change things up. So, we're going to have a male tactical character. Okay. And human and Dorian, Tellarite, or Vulcan. Well, I haven't. Uh, no, uh, yeah, I haven't created a Vulcan character before. Uh, Cesare is a Trill, by the way, so I have a Trill character. Yeah, I think I'm going to be a Vulcan. Vulcan tactical officer, though. Actually, oh, that's an unfortunate look. Um, yeah, I'm not going with that. Sorry, Tellarites. Uh, Tellarite fans, I, I can't deal with that. Okay, so original series dress uniform. Medical uniform. That's, that's interesting. And just uniform. Yeah, uh, we'll, we'll just go with the uniform. Body, okay. Well, I don't know. That's got a wide jaw. That looks like a tactical officer right there. Also, half human tactical officer kind of idea. That's that's more Vulcan. It looks part Klingon there. I don't know. Maybe. But I don't like the grizzled beard though, because that makes him seem old, and I want a young, young captain. With, uh, with a great future ahead of the captain. So... Wow, we can make it blue? We can make it blue. We can make the beard blue. But we should not do that. A punk captain? A punk Vulcan? So as you can see, you can spend a long time creating your character. Mutton chops. Stylized. Jeez, even that? No, that, that, that's getting real Klingon-ish kind of stuff right there. Huh, maybe I should go with my own sort of thin mustache sort of style. Yes, we can have a Vulcan with a full hawk. Or spiky bangs. Or, uh... Uh, I think we'll go traditional on that. 
That's a fine look, I think. Alright. Uniform jacket loose. I don't know what uh, what is jacket type. Ooh. Yep, jacket loose is fine. Starfleet dress uniforms. Starfleet uniform. We can change the colors to anything you like. I've never seen a white uniform before. Red, well, that's probably not a good idea. Purple, nah, we'll stick to yellow. And you can have your choice of badge. These are all unlocked. Sagittarius Theseus. That's quite a selection. I like this, the, the sound of pioneer operations. I'll take that. Rank. Lieutenant Junior Grade. We'll go with the normal tucked low. Okay. Alright. We'll uh, nudge the height down just a little bit. Thoughtful. Sounds good. Okay, so I think this will do. Enter a name. Um, what do they suggest? Somak. No. Chapet. A lot in the P's and S's, huh? They really like S names. Narsep and T names. Sping. No. Soful. Skim. No. Captain Skim? No. Virok. Oh, I can do Virok. Virok is good. I don't remember Spock having a last name. Uh, one name is fine, huh? I think. USS. USS. I've done it before, but um, since I was watching a lecture just this morning, I'm going to call it Feynman. Okay. So USS Feynman will be our first ship name. Alright, let's see what happens. Again, I haven't played through this style before, this 23rd century style. Captain's Log, Stardate 6147.4. We're orbiting planet Taurus 2 in the Murasaki 312 Nebula. Our orders? Investigate the disappearance of a science vessel in this area. Search and rescue operations are about to commence. Sounds good. Well, you know, science vessels could have encountered just about anything. Okay. Okay. Yes. Okay. We are active. Very good. Now, it's been about a year since I've played the game, so... I'll just go with the tutorial and go with what they tell me to do. So... Obviously, we have a little map here indicating that our objective is around here. I suppose I'll be talking to the captain, given the thing hovering above him. All right. Lieutenant, we've located the wreckage of a crashed ship down there. I need to get boots on the ground, find out what's going on. Take a landing party down to the surface. Assess the situation and look for survivors. Okay, we'll beam down right away, sir. Fast. Oh. We can't use the transporters due to atmospheric interference. Shuttlecraft. We need to take a shuttlecraft down. Use the sensors to locate a safe landing site. Okay, I need to use a shuttlecraft. We're indicating... Okay, scan surface. Ah, classic sounds. Okay, surface scanned. Report to captain. Did you find a suitable landing area? Yes, sir. Excellent. I've assigned Ensign Mears to your landing party. She's been to Taurus 2 before. Her insight will be quite valuable. The voice sound with her might be a little bit low. Shepherd. Don't forget to grab a phaser in the armory on your way. From what I've read in Jim Kirk's report, Taurus 2 can get a little rough. Okay. On my way. Your current tasks will be displayed here. Okay. Got that. So take turbo lift to the engineering deck. Sounds good. Engineering deck. 
So, we have a nice little starship interior. Very classic. Wait, who's this? Ensign Tarsi. Ensign Tarsi, reporting for duty. The captain's asked me to make sure you get back in one piece, and I intend to do just that. Okay. Let's see. M-Class planet. Barely. The Torians are big, primitive, and quick to anger. I'd keep my phaser handy if I were you. Speaking of which, if you want to follow me to the armory, we can make sure your phaser is properly calibrated. Okay. Following Ensign Tarsi. Shows you where your objectives are. An arrow will appear on the mini map if you are far away from the objective. Have a glow around them. Walk up and press F to interact with the phaser to pick it up. Okay. Or I can just click on the icon. All right. Phaser has been automatically equipped, very good, and our character is here, we'll have kits, body armor shields, and uh, that is our current weapon, and you can see it gives you all the stats right there. If you haven't played Star Trek Online before, this is how that works. And there's our ship, uh, four weapons, deflector, impulse engine, warp engine, shields, aft weapons, and then devices, that you uh, those are um, uh, consumables. And then engineering, science, and tactical consoles that give various buffs. But we'll get to that. Uh, this is a shooting range, in fact. Oh, um, I don't know if... Oh, yes we can. Okay, uh, if you want to practice shooting targets, apparently. But it's auto-aim, so it's not exactly taking much talent here. Okay. Yes, I'm going to <laughs> aim my phaser at everybody now. Okay, uh, so next... Looks like we're supposed to go to the shuttle bay. I'm just following the arrow on the map. I look like I'm hunting something here. Okay, Ensign Mears. Hello, Ensign Mears. Ensign Mears, reporting is ordered. I'm ready when you are. Though I can't say I'm happy to see Taurus 2 again. Oh, ominous. I was one of the so-called Galileo 7, a science team sent to study the Murasaki effect. Our shuttle crashed on Taurus 2. Not all of us made it back to the Enterprise alive. Oh, she was on the Enterprise. You can see why I'm reluctant to return to such a place. Okay, well, yeah, her I... insight will be valuable. Yes, of course you're right, Lieutenant. I am a Starfleet officer, and I will perform my duties. You can count on me. Yep, definitely never doubted it. Ooh, shells. Um. Okay, this one. Board shuttlecraft. We have experience points. Copernicus. Okay, so as far as experience points are concerned, we have these. Ooh, this is. This seems. Wait. Yeah, this seems different. Hmm. Okay, anyway. Um, experience points allows, allow us to uh, gain rank. So you can see here, we've got Lieutenant Space Ability with 9,000, Lieutenant Ground Ability 15,000, okay. Lieutenant Space Ability, so these are the abilities here, I think. Yeah, they've changed it since the last time I was in here. Um, Lieutenant Commander, yeah, maybe I should just... Uh, go with it. I, I think this, maybe it's not that they changed it, but it's just, it just works differently in this 23rd century. See, this 23rd century Starfleet rewards, maybe that's different from the way the rest of the game works? We'll have to check that. I'll have to check that. Okay. Speak to Mears. Ugh. It's just as grim as I remember it here. My skin is crawling. I can't help but feel like the creatures are out there, watching us. Waiting to attack. I want to ask what sort of creatures, but all right, stay alert. Right. Okay. It appears the ship crashed somewhere north of here. 
There are two paths from here that lead to the crash site, and there may be survivors on both. I recommend you take Alpha Team along the northwestern path, and I'll take Beta to the northeast. We'll rendezvous at the main crash site. Shouldn't, shouldn't I know how to do that? I mean, I'm the tactical officer, I'm a lieutenant and everything. Oh well. Remember, your minimap shows you where your objectives are. An arrow will appear on the minimap. Yep, yep, got it, got it, got it. Is that a warp nacelle? Wow. Big. Oh yeah. Yeah, it is. That is a warp nacelle. Well you spotted. To find anomalies. Okay. Um uh, trying to find anomalies, but I think well, I think we found a piece of debris that might be interesting. Definitely Federation tech here. No the kidding. Left of a shuttlecraft's coolant assembly, according to my tricorder. Okay. Crash shuttle nearby. Let's have a look. Well, it looks like there's a crash ship nearby, actually. Oh, that's just on fire. There's your crash shuttle. What's left of it, anyway? Look. Nope, oh, they're going over there. What have we got here? Treat survivor. By or combat? combat? What? Can I have a word, Uh, yeah, sure. Um, seems like there's something going on here, though. Lieutenant, you won't be able to get close enough to revive him while that thing's venting plasma. Those okay, 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 got it. Um, I'm not an engineering officer. I'm not a science officer. But I guess I can do this. Okay, uh, something's still venting. So... Ah, here we go. Shut off plasma vent beta. Um, still venting? Not still venting. Okay. I need a science officer for this, darn it. Thank you. We, we, we need to move. There's things. They're out there. Okay, what things? Somebody tell me what creatures we're up against. Look out. Oh, they're... Ah! Ah! Good thing I didn't pick the red shirt. What do they feed these things? Never mind! Uh, yeah, fire. 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 Fire more. What was that? That one. Stun beam settings. Oh, wait. Oh, he's moving off. I guess we're all peaceful now. That's good, I think. We scared him off with our phaser. After he killed one of our peoples. Okay, uh, speak to Survivor, yes. I'm Dr. Phineas Grogan, part of a research team studying the Murasaki effect. Well, I was before the ship crashed. I was looking for supplies when that thing roared. Got distracted and, and then that plasma coil blew. Damn near killed me. Uh-huh, you're definitely lucky to be alive. You're telling me. We should get those supplies back to camp. Dr. Mueller's probably worried sick about it by now. All right, lead the way. Retrieve supplies. I know I can press F, but I've got the cursor here anyway. Okay, looks like that's Dr. Mueller. Yes. Why is that guy gone over there and looking all fr uh, frightened? We were stranded here with those, those monsters. Those supplies you brought will come in handy while we wait. Just put them over there for now. You know, I think there's some old phaser rifles in there. Might come in handy against those cre Yeah, phaser rifles would be good. Um... There are some rifles in that crate. We should show the survivors how to shoot them. I'll set up some targets while you get ready. Okay. A, a phaser? I've never shot one of these before. Wait, you want me to shoot this? 
Yes. You can switch between two equipped weapons by pressing Z. Yep. Oh, I better leave some targets for the other guys. I like the sound of these the weapons, frankly. Ready, Lieutenant. Let the survivors start shooting and give them Your weapon has an alternate fire mode. The effect of the Instruct Mueller to drop his shoulder. Okay. I get it. That gives me a lot more control. Tell Grogan to adjust his stance. Wow, great. That feels a lot better. Great. Why 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 were they packing all these rifles Remember, without knowing how to use them again? Alternate fire mode. The effect of this mode varies by weapon. Act okay. So we've got rifle butt, we've got sniper shot, and we've got type 3 phaser beam setting. How's the damage? Uh Damage on the rifle is worse, but probably has better range. Doesn't say the range here. Okay, demonstrate alternate fire. Okay, done. Sniper shot was the alternate fire. Yeah, yeah they are. Look at those spears. Well, I have to say, I, uh, when they mention creatures... The Torians are attacking. Torians! Oh yeah, okay, we've got a name for them now. Um, I thought something with, you know, a different layout, not two arms, two legs, frankly. Whoa, ow! Okay. You guys all right? Um, right. Talk to Ensign Mears. Uh, there's still spears being hurled. Where's Ensign Mears? There she is. Safely in the back. Good. We need to get these people to safety, Lieutenant. The Torians will be back, and in greater numbers. Yeah, all right. All right, fall back. Come on, guys, fall back. Oh, so uh, they're going into the ship. That's interesting. Hold on, I want to take a peek. Oh, this is the shuttle bay of the ship. The tail of it. All right, go to the go to wreckage. Come on, Halleck, go to the wreckage. Alright, all done. Now I have to report to Ensign Mears again. By the way, this is something that you do in the game a lot. Uh, even as an ad admiral, you'll be uh, answering to Ensigns all the time. It's it's just a thing. I, I don't know why. Lieutenant, we've held them off so far because they're scared of our weapons. But I don't think that'll last much longer. We've got to fall back to the wreckage. I might have an She's so smart. Shut the doors. They're right behind us. Okay, shutting doors. Jeez. Shut the doors, sir, maybe? I don't know. <laughs> okay, we have shut the doors. What do you want me to do now, Ensign Mears? Okay. Last time I was here, Scotty, uh, Commander Scott. Yeah, she's not very good with the with the higher ranks. Let's face it. Think we can pull something like that off here? Yeah, sure. Let's check. Electrofly hull. Zap. Oh wait, no zap. There we go. Finally zap. Success! Oh, well, okay. We immediately open up. Alright. I guess... Do I have to report? Yes, I have to report to Ensign Mears again. You did it! 
Lieutenant, it worked. Bless you, Scotty, wherever you are. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Scotch, us. got it. I managed to escape, but the others, they've been taken. We've got to do something, and fast. Okay. I was thinking we can use our tricorders to track residual heat signatures left by the Torians. Very good. Now that's an interesting idea. Someday somebody's gonna call me sir. Scan for heat signatures. Okay, we have uh, heat signatures. Are we gonna get random spikes hurled at us along this path? Okay, well, there are foot more, fo more footprints. Very good. Oh, what kind of crazy ritual do we have? No, it's just a fire. Could we, like, make peace with these guys? Try to communicate with them at all? <sighs> There's too little of that sometimes, and too much of the shoot first and ask questions later. Yeah, yeah, we're gonna have to shoot them. Just, just shoot them. Good thing they move really, really slowly. Uh, I defeated Torian Chief, didn't I? That should have already been marked, yeah? Lieutenant, okay, finally. Over here. Help! Yeah, 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 I was coming to help, but they didn't let me help. Thanks for coming back for us, sir. We owe you one. Pretty sure those things were gonna have us for dinner. Not on my watch. Yeah, good response. Fascinating. The Torians appear to be in a late Stone Age state of development. No kidding. Now isn't the best time for an anthropology lecture, Skial. I actually, it's fine. But there's, there's, there's no hurry. We could probably slaughter them at will. They are a Stone Age people, and we're um, we've got we've got rifles, phaser rifles even. I'm actually not entirely sure what we're so afraid of. Am I seeing things? Because those guys picking through the wreckage sure look like Klingons. Oh, now we're talking. Because what are Klingons doing on Now we're talking Klingons. Good, good, good. Let's find out. Ready phasers, just in case they're not in the mood for questions. Absolutely. Old time Klingons. Oh, hey. Old time Klingons shooting. In fact, I'm going to declare that my character is half Klingon, half Vulcan. But he's keeping that a secret. Yes. Uh, he's keeping it a secret that he's half Klingon. Hmm. How he became half Klingon, uh, I'll have to work on that later. Klingon pad. Is that a Klingon pad? Bring it to me. I have some experience to God, can you guys be nicer? Bring it to me, she says. Oh my god. Huh. My little sister's diary. Well then again, I guess that's just her nature. Sure. Klingons are good at fighting, but computers aren't their strong suit. And voila! One Klingon pad. Unlocked and ready for your inspection. Thank you, thank you. My inspection is good. Your plan has worked perfectly, sir. Many ships have fallen into our trap. We've snared a few merchant ships and a Starfleet. Science vessel so far. You'll be pleased to hear that we're picking up a Federation cruiser on long range sensors. Constitution, Ooh, class. Constitution class. Time to hunt bigger game. Glory to the Empire. Okay, Looks download like the, the message. We're using both guile and brute force here, Lieutenant. A pretty potent combination. The captain's definitely going to want to hear about this. Yep, definitely. I think I need more lines on my face to be half Klingon, though. Too smooth-faced. Uh, what? Oh! Oh, I did not like that. What the heck? Oh, hey! Stop that! Stop it! Stop, 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 stop. 
A Klingon sergeant, apparently. Oh, there's another grenade coming. Ah, uh, okay, okay, maybe it's a good idea to back off. They're just gonna keep coming, probably. Yeah, th these rifles have a really long range. Oh, wait, more bad guys. Oh, wait, out of the red zone. Haha, -ha, you didn't get me this time. Suddenly no cavemen. I guess the Klingons dealt with them. We should thank them. We were definitely more afraid of the cavemen than we were of the Klingons. Okay, those are good guys. I will report to Ensign Mears. We're ready to go when you are. Hope this thing's got enough fuel to get us back to the ship. Okay. Are you ready to board the shuttle, Lieutenant? I see I see no reason not to. I don't know if it's a good idea to put the experience at the center of the screen like that during the fade to black. Maybe a little bit more inconspicuous would be fine. That looks like a pretty big shuttlecraft in relation to this, uh, in relation to the shuttle bay. But maybe it was just perspective. We made it. Never thought I'd be so happy to see a shuttle bay. I admit I had my doubts in the beginning. Didn't think I'd hold it together down there. Every time I heard those things roar. But here I am. Thanks for believing in me. I really couldn't have done it without you because it wouldn't have let me do anything without reporting to you. Yep. Uh oh. What the? Uh oh. The Klingons. Yep. Yep. Wow. They they really are good at boarding ships, aren't they? Um, no, not 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 thoughtful look. Uh, where 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 are we going? Where are we going? Oh, access comm. Okay. We have some uninvited guests, Lieutenant. We've been boarded. The Klingons have breached the hall on the engineering deck and blocked our access. Since I can't send security in, I need you to secure the deck. Yes, sir. Start with the engineering lab. We need to bring our plasma relays back online. After that, secure the armory and main engineering. We'll handle it, sir. Now I get to order the other two around. Finally. Okay. Let's go. Bye, right, guys. I'm remembering an old Earth adage about leaping from frying pans into fires. Your orders, Lieutenant? Okay. Yeah. Protect. Meanwhile. Come on. Why can't I shoot? I, I don't know why I can't shoot. We'll handle these Klingons. Sounds like you're needed in the engineering lab. Okay. I'm supposed to go somewhere else. I hate that it doesn't let me shoot unless I'm meant to shoot. I'll cover you while you clear out the lab, Lieutenant. Please don't have grenades out. That was painful, though. Whoa. The, the, oh, these guys are tough here. They only sent their crappy people all down to the planet. Shut down our primary plasma conduits. Get okay. fast. All right, reinitialize plasma conduits. I shut down plasma conduits on the surface. Plasma now I have to activate auxiliary power restored. Clear plasma out conduits. Arm. Is it safe to activate plasma conduits when this thing is sparking like that? I hope so. Well, we've lost a lot of peoples here. Uh, I hope they're just knocked out. Jeez, one one half thing on Vulcan. Uh oh, run! Up against a whole army of Klingons. Great work. Secure engineering next if you can. Okay, secure engineering. All on my own. Whoop. Uh oh, server not responding. Okay, good. I must go through this door in order to secure engineering. Yes. Oh, I have to talk to them again. We've cleared the rest of the deck, Lieutenant. Okay, well done. Stay right there. Oh, um, I have to go in here. And I... Oh, this is the commander. Uh-oh. Please don't have grenades. Please don't have grenades. Nice work. 
external sensors showed you have secured the engineering deck. Check the power relays for the weapon systems. Looks like the Klingons fried them during the fight. On it. Some missions in Star Trek Online will change based on your career track. Engineering, science, or tactical. Okay, restore weapon power relays. I am a tactical officer. Weapon power relays are up and running. Charge all phaser banks. I need you on the bridge, Lieutenant. Okie dokie. Ah, happens to be a turbo lift right here. To the bridge, please. Oop. All right. Sir, incoming transmission. Oh, I better get to my console. Activate view screen. What the? Okay. Guess that Federation was nominal. Starship. This is Captain Core. Surrender if you must, but I'd rather you fight with honor. Okay, uh, let me talk to the captain by walking all the way over here. Good work, Lieutenant. The Klingons will think twice before they try to board this ship again. Now take the helm. We need to get to a friendly sector. Oh, come on. We could, we could, we could fight them. Apparently, I've got Tarsi under my command now. Permanently. All right. Well, I guess I'll have to work with her. Okay. Taking the helm. Sensors are picking up Klingon power signatures in two nearby satellites. I'm thinking they're broadcasting the distress signals that lured in our ships. Bring us in close so we can scan them and find out. Increase your speed using E. Yep, got it. Uh, e, E, E. So this is the ship combat or exploration, exploration and combat part of the thing. Scan the beacon. Most of the time, the range is like uh, ten kilometers for stuff. The satellites are using a triaxillating signal. It's strong enough to cut through the interference and reach ships outside the nebula. Clever. Almost a shame we have to blow them up, isn't it? Yeah, real tragedy. Use your torpedo to attack enemies who are not. Okay, uh, so I've just uh, right-clicked on them in order to have auto-fire, and I'm going to launch the torpedoes. Very good. Nice work, one down. One down. Looks like this one is shielded, though. All right. Whoa. You must be within 10 kilometers of an enemy to attack it. Yep, 10 kilometers. Activate full impulse by clicking. Oh, okay. I'll go full impulse. Use your phaser beam to weaken shielded targets. Use your torpedo on an enemy when their shield is down. You must be out of combat to capture the hail. The red alert message at the top of your screen will indicate that you are in combat. Got it. Okay, answering hail. Can, can you hear us? We're under attack by Klingon raiders. Our shields are buckling. Won't last long. Okay, we're on our way. Full impulse. D5 Raptor. Okay. Really? I'm not noticing the unwise part. Nope. Definitely don't see why it's unwise. You'll have to explain that to me some other time. Thanks for the help. Our engines are offline. Could you transfer some energy and get them started again? Can do. Thanks for everything. Good luck with the Klingons. Okay, safe travels. Lieutenant. I've made some modifications to our torpedo launcher. I think you'll like the results. Very helpful. Thank you. Remember that you can activate full impulse. That was quick too. I mean, we were in battle and everything. Okay, where do we have to go? It's uh, there's a green area over here, but I don't see anything indicated in front of us. 
Approach to Klingons. Activate high yield torpedo by clicking on oh, the icon are. or using Alt plus one. Hmm. Whatever happened to my torpedoes? Seems like the torpedoes are no longer on the tray. There we go. Oh, time for the torpedoes, in fact. Take that. She's got this special torpedo high yield skill, Tarsi does. We could use that, but I don't see any pressing need for it. More Klingon ships detected on long range sensors, sir. Okay, there they are. Bye. Now, this is very simple combat right now. Combat does get a little bit more complicated as you get more skills. You fill up this tray of uh, hotkeys and then you get more stuff even. Nice explosions. Not sure they had special effects of that magnitude in the original series. I'll wait till the uh, enemy shields are down and then we'll try this high yield torpedo thing. Normally I'd want to get that on the hot keys. Okay, let's try that. I have to face him and hope that my torpedo is going to be aimed at a place without shields. Ouch, ouch. For this intro mission, they're not really doing much damage to me. Okay, there we go. High yield torpedoes for the win. And let's make sure to put that on our bar. Acknowledge, please. Oh, Uhura, hello. Okay, just go. I, so, the oh. cub comes to fight beside the wolfie. And now you will die with him as well. Okay, yeah, yep. I definitely want to uh, fight alongside the wolf. That would be Kirk, right? Kirk's the wolf. Though technically I suppose I'm not the cub. Either the ship's the cub or or my captain is the cub. But I'm not actually in command right now. Oh, there we go. I'm being awful close, aren't I? Okay, let's try high yield torpedo for the next one. Uh, the shields are still sort of holding. He's a big ship, this uh, D9 battleship. I will avenge myself upon you. Whoa, whoa, hold on. He's stalking. Cling on stocking, alright. Thanking me for my assistance. Okay, thanks for the update, Spock. Looks like we're done here, people. Starfleet Command wants us and Enterprise back for a debriefing on this mess. Helm set a course for Earth Space Dock. Warp Factor 3. Well, I can't say not now to my captain, for heaven's sakes. Off we go. And there's ominous music right now got my rifle with me. Captain Garrett wants to see you in his office, Lieutenant, but he says to feel free to mingle with the other officers first. 
I take him up on that if I were you. I mean, how often do you get the chance to meet the crew of the Enterprise? The best of the best. That they are. But I still don't know why I'm packing my rifle. Maybe I should be nicer. Um, let's let's not have that visible, huh? There we go. Much better. All right. Okay. Uh, welcome to Earth Space Dock. And even though they made it sound like it was optional, it looks like we do have to talk to everybody. Talk to Scotty. Talk to Chekhov. Mears again. Uhura, McCoy, and Sulu. Well, it'll be a pleasure. Let's see what they have to say. Well, here we are. Uh, Chekhov. We were in Starfleet Academy together. Okay. Always nice to see someone from the Academy days. Uh, too bad they couldn't get somebody to read all of this. Class of 2268, yes. I seem to recall an incident involving you. A Rigelian flame rose and the unfortunate activation of fire suppression systems during one of Professor Tavan's lectures. Very cold, almost like Siberian winters. It made a pretty positive impression on Cadet Winstead, however. I don't know, doesn't sound... Well, then again, our, our Vulcan uh, character here is part Klingon by my decision, so uh, yeah. Still, I, I would expect that he's trying to hide the fact that he's half Klingon, so I don't know if that made too much sense for his character. Uh, though I'm, I guess he, uh, he probably has trouble controlling his emotions, particularly when dealing with Klingons. Maybe he gets particularly enraged, enraged when dealing with Klingons uh, in, an, uh, in a way that's not appropriate for Vulcan, I don't know. We'll, we'll think about that. We'll think about the uh, whole backstory and stuff like that. Okay, let's talk to Uhura. Lieutenant Uhura of the Starship Enterprise. Okay, uh, leave it to the Klingons to set a trap inside the Murasaki effect. I don't think they'll try anything like that again soon. I'm still not entirely clear about the Murasaki effect. Uh, be careful though, Klingons tend to hold grudges. Your friend Captain Kor might try to settle the score with you down the road. I would be delighted <laughs> if he would to, if he were to do that, but I I would like my own ship soon. By the way, uh, we're already at a level four on uh, Lieutenant. It looks like I just need three thousand experience points for level five, and then I'll be uh, Lieutenant Commander if I get six more grades. So I have to be level ten to get to Lieutenant Commander, and then level twenty would be Captain and uh, level thirty. Uh, I think that's right, right? Uh, no, uh, Lieutenant Commander and Commander for uh, level 20, and then Captain is 30. Yeah, Captain is 30. And then Rear Admiral, lower half is 40. And then Rear Admiral, upper half is 45, and then Vice Admiral is 50. And again, uh, by the time we get to 50, we'll still be answering to Ensigns and Lieutenants for some strange reason. Uh, anyway. Good advice, Lieutenant. I will definitely want that rematch. Okay, uh, McCoy. If you're going into the lion's den, you'll need a medical officer. Yes, I need a medical officer. Don't be afraid to listen to the advice of your chief medical officer, especially when it's followed by the words doctor's orders. I'll keep that in mind. You know, it feels like this isn't the first time I've given you some advice. You know anything about that? Can't say that I do. Do we have a... Oh, oh uh, he recognizes that I'm Vulcan. Vulcan friend of mine might say fascinating. Oh, no, he doesn't recognize... Uh, uh, I thought he recognized me as Vulcan and he was just sort of uh, mixing me up with Spock somehow. But uh, no, I don't think that's quite what he meant. Okay. Maybe there is some backstory between us and McCoy. Who knows? Okay, Scotty. That was some fine work back there, friend. It's not every day one walks away from a brawl with the Klingons. You look familiar, if you don't mind me saying so. Have we met before? I don't think so, this, though this seems to presage that uh, that we do meet. But I don't think so. Uh, must be my imagination. I, I smell some time jumping involved. By the way, I heard you're into the local wildlife on Taurus too. Right on friendly devils, aren't they? I won't be forgetting those gigantic... Local wildlife. Soon. Look me up sometime. We'll have a drink. I, I'd call them locals. I wouldn't call them wildlife if they're cavemen. 
I mean, the, at that point, they're sort of sentient kind of things, right? Not wildlife, per se, but... Anyway, thanks, to Tank Commander. Okay, and that leaves Sulu. Hey, the great bird of the galaxy, bless your planet. Uh, the, uh, the audio clips seem to be... Since you have a lot of background scratchiness, don't they? They're not the cleanest audio clips. You were at the helm during the fight with the Klingons. That was some fine flying. Keep it up and you might get a chance to helm a constitution class. Yes, I hope I'll get that chance. Okay, Ensign Mears again. Oh, she's at the bar here. It's been a pleasure working with you. I didn't enjoy going back to Taurus too, but we got the job done thanks to you. Starfleet First Officers must be my good luck charm. Captain Garrett has requested me for a new logistics position here at ESD. Might not be as glamorous as the final frontier, but I've accepted. Until next time. Oh, good. I, I was sort of worried that I'd have to deal with her the whole time, but probably next time we see her, she'll be an admiral. Natural uh, command abilities, you might say. Okay, enter Captain Garrett's office, which seems to be in the opposite direction. Uh, maybe here? Admin office. Anybody interesting over here? No. Admiral's office. Well, there's Admiral's office. Apparently, Captain Garrett works in the Admiral's office. That's interesting. Thanks for coming. I have some good news to share. First off, Fleet promoted me to Admiral. Jeez. I'll be working with Deep Space Command on several exploration initiatives there. Our ship's going to need a new captain. I've talked it over with Command, and they agree with my recommendation. It's not really a Constitution class, is it? Congratulations, my friend. I know the ship will be in good hands once I'm away. Oh, okay, well, I, I guess I'll take it. You've gotten rid of me, though. I plan on keeping you plenty busy out there. Okay. Congratulations, Lieutenant. Oh. Every generation, Starfleet officers hear the call of duty. Hidden dangers lurk in space, and the threat of Klingon attack has made even the most stout-hearted reconsider their choice to travel throughout the stars. A last-ditch effort to find a common ground could end this conflict, but there are many who oppose peace. If the Federation is to be saved from chaos, new officers will need to take up the task of restoring peace. Live long and prosper, Lieutenant. Hmm. Peace with the Klingons. I don't know if my character's... Well, well, it's his duty, so uh, he'll try his best. But uh, I don't think he's uh, wholeheartedly in favor of that. I outlined important people you should talk to while visiting Earth space dock. Speak with the tailor to customize your appearance. After that, speak with the ship vendor to claim a shuttlecraft. Yeah, definitely want a shuttlecraft. Um... Taylor, huh? Uh, I don't need to... Well, well, I guess we might as well go to the tailor. To the, just to see the options, but I don't think I want to... Ch well, maybe uh, some touching up will do. Yeah, yeah, I know about the minimap. We've been using the minimap for quite a while now. Okay, this is not the right way. I'm gonna sneak in ahead of you. Armory, turbo lift, shipyard. Shipyard! I guess this is not where we requisition our shuttle. Though, uh, maybe I can customize my ship. Yeah, yeah, customize it. Ship tailor. So this is our starship. Pioneer class, I guess. Not too much to customize. Um, yeah, I don't even know where those colors end up. Ship selector, ship vendor. Anyway, uh, we're not supposed to talk to this person. We're supposed to go in here. Taylor. Oh, 
Okay, um... Off-duty outfits? Yeah, yeah, just, um... Join a fleet to unlock that outfit. Bridge officer's Tarsi. Oh, I guess we can customize Tarsi's look. We don't actually have a medical officer right now. But she's not a medical officer, is she? Actually, the blue works works with her skin, I suppose, though practically camouflaged. Well, now she's got a red one. That's pretty cool. But that costs. That is not for free. So if you wonder how they make their money, it's the special uniforms, like this one. That you have to pay in Zen. That's the premium currency, though you can get uh, the premium currency with in-game dilithium mining and converting the dilithium to Zen. But that's a slow process. Oh, you can have the lower part be a different color than the upper part. Anyway, uh, let me just cancel this for now. What What is she? Tarsi. Tactical bridge officer. Yeah, and I'm a tactical officer too. I need a science officer. Gotta worry about looks when trying to spread peace around the... around the galaxy. So... Bridge officer requisitions, I don't think we can right now. Yeah, well, there's another thing you can use dilithium on is to purchase bridge officers. But anyway. Oh, now we get to go to the shipyard and get our shuttle. I guess we have to go in order. Okay, let's claim your shuttle, click on get a new starship, then browse selection. To get a Constitution Cruiser here, I would need Zen. But Class F Shuttle, I don't. Looks like Class F Shuttle is it. Customize Shuttle. I don't know where to start. Well, a Galileo? Okay. USS Parisian? Well, that's definitely the wrong ship. Oh, uh, it's called the Parisian. Shouldn't it just have the name of the Feynman to indicate where it's from? Okay, bridge, layout, not many choices there. Windows, nothing. Oh, that's different. Um, nah. Well, this is a little bit too boxy. Maybe something a little bit more rugged is preferable. Okie dokie. Well, and let's take a look at advanced. Uh, there's some pattern, apparently, but... Alright, Leo, how about that? Okay, purchase. Yes. Okay, we've done that. Now we have to talk to the Admiral again. There he is. I know that being a starship captain is a big responsibility, but I believe you're up to the task. If you feel that your ship is ready yeah, for yeah. this next... Stay safe out there. In the shadow of Cestus. Ever hear of Edron IV? Not really. Jim Kirk got into a tussle with a Gorn there and barely lived to tell the okay, tale. Okay, maybe I should have heard Both about the Gorn it then. and the Federation have teams there now. I'd like you to back our people up in case the Gorn decide to engage in a little cowboy diplomacy. Okay. Ah, looks like we would get another officer out of this. But we have to actually complete the mission first. Well, I could sure use another officer, but this is a, an engineering officer. Well, that's fine. And we got some dilithium there, too. Click this button to beam up to the system map. Yep, beam up. Beaming to our new starship. Click on this button to warp out to sector space. Got it, got it, got it. On the 
icon beside your mission to order your crew to plot a course to okay. your next mission. Okay. So if you've never seen this before, you this is the general map. Space. Sector space. And so there are other peoples here. Online. For instance, here there is the USS Worcestershire there. Space is a no combat zone. Chilliam. Ensign Hunter, welcome aboard. I'm Security Chief Tarsi. Settling in okay? It's going to take a little getting used to. I can imagine. You'll be working with me in security, so if you need anything, just ask. Thanks, Chief. I appreciate it. Hey, don't mention it. Us red shirts stick together. Right? She's not okay. Right. Well, well, she considers herself a red shirt, so I need to give her a red shirt. So USS Calvin there, USS Taguchi Galpa. Okay, let's give her a red. No, oh, I can't do it right now. We'll have to give her a red shirt once we get back to back to space dock. We will change her uniform. Okay, so we go this way. Let's uh, increase our warp factor to warp 5. So this is the map, which is actually different from the map in the, in the normal game when you're not in 23rd century Starfleet. That map is quite different. So Vulcan Sector, Angelia Sector, Silas Sector. I, I, what would really be cool is if we could like take part in exploring sectors since this is obviously not all there is there's the neutral zone and so that's the Klingon Empire over there alright well since I have my starship and we're going to be getting into another mission I think there's a good time to end the first episode and we will uh, cover the mission in the next episode in my adventures in the 23rd century so, with that, I'll say thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed this episode. If you did enjoy this episode, please do press like. If you have any comments or suggestions, please leave them in the comments section below. And I'll see you next time.